finally happened. <laughs> and out of saddle too. Uh, this is Saturday, December the 22nd. And I uh, had an opportunity to shoot this buck this morning. My season's been so poor I just couldn't pass him up. I was set up on the same lane that I killed that 10 point out of a couple of years ago. And uh, he, I was on the, uh, on the north end of the lane, wind out of southeast. And uh, I first saw him, it was like uh, 820, I think it was. Or 840, I forget. 840, I think it was. And uh, he was coming down that lane, coming straight at me. I just let him walk up until uh, he stopped. And when he stopped, he was close enough, and he was kind of quartered to me a little bit. And I shot him on his uh, right side, the downside on him now. And uh, he didn't go down. It always scared me when they run off. But uh, I figured I hit him. It wasn't but a 50-yard shot. And uh, he run out in the cutover. This lane is now runs through the cutover. He's got cutover on both sides of it. And like I say, he comes from the opposite end and walking straight to me. And uh, he run out to the to the cutover. And uh, I, I let him I let him lay for. I think I shot him at 8:20 or 8:40. I don't remember. You know, I got it wrote down or I got pictures of it. But uh, anyway, I, I give him to 10 o'clock. I got down and I uh, walked to where I shot him and saw blood on the ground right there. And uh, I had enough to follow, and I followed into the cutover. Thank goodness it had some blood, but uh, when he got in the cutover, he cut to his left and went and fell right over behind me. It was out in the wide open, too much sunshine, nothing to put my camera on, so I drug him up in here. Got a few little trees right here and got him. But the, the uh, my first deer of the season, I began to wonder if I was going to kill one. I, I'm going to call this my Christmas buck. <laughs> and uh, anyway, the shot was 50 yards and he ran about 50 yards. And uh, I was able to get my truck within 100 yards of him. And I'm going to go ahead and, and field quarter him and, and uh, pack him to the truck and head to the house. This is my 104th gun kill and my, two, my 384th deer kid. So, 74 years old, be 75 in February, and still trying to get it done. It's a lot harder to get it done now than it used to be, but uh, I'm not ready to quit yet. And like I said before, uh, this is my first deer out of the saddle. I, I, I've killed a couple since I had my saddle, but I was using my lock on limit. And uh, I'm pretty much full time with that saddle now. It's really comfortable. I got it all tuned up. I'm, I'm in saddle shape. I'm used to it. And uh, it's, it's really nice. I like it a lot. I was hiding behind the tree. I was totally opposite side of the tree from where the deer was walking straight to me. And I just kind of leaned over to my right and put the uh, gun up against the tree I'm, I'm tethered to. And uh, it was rock solid and I shot it. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my new knife. I was gifted a, a, a really nice knife by Blood Brother Forge. And Craig, he really done me right. He, he fixed me up. And uh, this is his maiden voyage. I'm fixing to try it out right now. So, hopefully, I'll see you on another this year.